Howdy guys. So I am going to do a grocery haul. This is completely unexpected, but it's special because I went to Central Market, which is nowhere near close to where I live. It's like a 25 minute journey into Austin. And I decided like, why not? Like I've been missing Central Market forever. I haven't gone in over a year since I lived in Dallas. And so I just thought, you know what? Like on my day off, I'm just gonna go into Central Market, enjoy it. Like I'm a random person. I know I'm weird, but I find grocery shopping very therapeutic. And I love the way Central Market is laid out. It's kind of in between like a Sprouts and a Central, uh, a Sprouts and a Whole Foods for me. So I just love the way it's laid out. I love all the different type of produce. And you know, it's just like, it gives me good vibes. So anyway, so I got a very small haul. Now, the reason why it's small is because I went to HB the other day and got like pretty much everything else that I needed. And like I said, this was like a random trip um, that I incorporated into my schedule. So it's not that big, but we are going to go through everything. I'm gonna show you what I got and I'm gonna talk a little bit about a few of the products and you know, why I got it and like what I'm going to use. Um, with it so yeah without further ado here's the haul okay you guys so this is the haul like i said it's very small most of it is produce um so i'm gonna start on this side so i got the coconut secret coconut aminos um so i typically don't use this often but i've been craving sushi for the past like few weeks and i decided that i am going to do my own sushi and so I picked this up and then I picked up tuna, which I'll show you later. Um, but yeah, so I got this for that. And by the way, if you don't know what this is, it's just an alternative. It's a soy free alternative to, you know, original soy sauce. And it's 73, it has 73% less sodium than soy sauce. It's organic, gluten free, non GMO, no MSG and vegan. So I highly recommend you to pick it up. And it, I mean, to me, it tastes exactly like soy sauce. So you'll be good to go. Um, I got the Now Essential Oil 100% Pure Clove. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so I got this to put in my room at night. I was gonna do lavender to help me sleep a little bit better, but I decided, you know, it's fall and we want the fall vibes. So I picked up this. Um, so I'll let you know how this goes. I've never tried this one before. Um, okay, the next thing is the Muir Glen Organic Stew Tomatoes. Now, I know you're gonna say something about the dent, you guys, but that was my fault when I dropped it as soon as I got into the house. But I'm still gonna eat it, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna waste it. Um, but if you're wondering like what I use stewed tomatoes for, I put it in breakfast medleys, green chili stew, tacos, spaghetti. I mean, it's just very versatile for me. So I picked those up because HEB does not have stewed tomatoes and they haven't had them for a while. Like. Our whole tomato section is actually like pretty much empty. So I was really excited to see that Central Market had these. Next is some Triscuits Original. I don't really like these, but these are for Alex. He eats these a lot with sausage and cheese or just like guac or anything. This is like his little um, snack. So I got him these and also they're 100% whole grain wheat. <clears throat> now I got dragon fruit. So I've never had dragon fruit before, but it's constantly on my Instagram. And so I decided, you know, why not? Why not pick it up? Because everyone said that it's really good. Um, it is kind of a little bit expensive, but you know, I mean, it's whatever. It's food, it's fruit, it's going into your body. You know, I'm, the, I'm definitely the type of person that I'll spend more when it comes to food and anything like health related, because you know, I wanna live long, you guys. So I'm gonna pick that up. I'll let you know how that tastes if you haven't had it. Um, I got some Driscoll's, uh, what are these, blackberries. Um, I just spotted these and I've been craving these as well. So I decided to pick up a small batch for this week. I got, um, what are these? I know they're carrots, but they're baby French carrots. Mini carrots, look at this. They are so small. I mean, my hand is small. So they're like, they're like the size of my hand. Um, I'm not really a carrot eater, but with these, I don't know why, maybe it's like a texture, maybe it's like the thickness. I prefer these over normal carrots. And so I'm gonna um, basically just dip these in like creamy ranch or, you know, I can eat them by themselves. But look how cute that is, you guys, look at that. So cute. 
Um, next, I just got two cucumbers. I typically eat these either by themselves with some salt and olive oil or I'll put them on top of a salad. So I got those for the week. I got a couple lemons. So these are actually, um, typically I'll dress a salad with these or I will put these um, like, you know, marinated meats. I am, oops, I will show you. I got some artichokes and I saw a recipe that if you put lemon, like if you rub lemon on the parts of the artichoke that you cut, it'll prevent it from burning. So these are very versatile. I got plain bagels, nothing special about those. Um, I got avocados. Now, um, for avocados, I typically use these in salads or I'll eat them kind of like as a side dish. Um, not really like guacamole, like I'll just literally just do this salt, pepper, and that's it. Very just simple and plain. So these are gonna last me through the week. These are new. I've never tried these before. These are tiger stripe figs. They're very soft, and the reason why they're called tiger stripe is because obviously, you know, you have the green stripe, the yellow stripe, green, yellow, and it's kind of like this on every single one. And when I was in Central Market, I was looking at figs because, I, you know, I like figs, but they had so many, you guys. And so the person working there, I guess she saw that I was just like, you know, kind of uh, like overwhelmed by my options. And so she told me to try these. So I can't wait to see what these taste like. And then I got a acorn squash because, you know, it's the fall season, you guys. Um, I'm probably just going to, you know, roast this or bake this and have it as a side, um, like just a side vegetable with the meats that I bought or the, you know, the, um, I think I have fish, I think I have salmon in the, in the freezer. So this is going to go with something like that. So just a side dish. And like, I just oven roast this with, you know, a couple of, um, seasonings, you know, salt, whatever, nothing really fancy. Um, I got two eggplants. I love eggplants, you guys. So with these, I actually cut them up like little patties. And then I put olive oil, salt, cheese, mozzarella cheese. Oh my gosh, I sprinkle shredded mozzarella. And sometimes, it depends on how I'm feeling, I will um, put tomato sauce in a frying pan and just basically saute these for like a few minutes and they're so freaking good. They're a great meat alternative. Um, for those of you who, you know, really like, you know, kind of like pasta dishes or like, you know, Italian dishes that require meat, I would use these as the alternative. Then, like I said, I got a couple of artichokes. I'm just going to oven roast these. Um, and the recipe I found, it basically just said, you know, put some, just some olive oil, put three cloves of garlic in the middle or any of the leaves. Um, you know, put the lemon, oops put the lemon and then like whatever seasoning you want and then just roast them on 425. I forget how long, but um, you know, until they're to your liking. I got some Driscoll organic strawberries. I don't know why guys, I ate a whole thing yesterday. I typically don't eat strawberries as quickly, um, but maybe like the past three weeks, I've been going through, I mean, literally like a whole thing in like three days. So I've been having to go to the grocery store to get more. So that's just me stocking up. Then, okay, so these are gold boiler onions. So I have never cooked with these, but I had gone to a very fancy place in Houston called Bisou. Um, I think it's in the Galleria area, River Oaks area, one of those. And they had these with the chicken breasts that I had ordered. And guys, these were so tasty by themselves. I literally, so you, you cook these whole, like they're best eaten whole. Oh my God. Just try them, you guys. They're very savory. Um, I ate like maybe seven of them on my plate. I think I had seven and I ate them all. They're just a good, um, what would, I don't know what you would call it, but it, I wouldn't say a side because it's not really what it is, but it's so good when you make this with the chicken and then, you know, you take a bite of the chicken, you take a whole onion and you put it, you pop it in your mouth. So good. Next up, I got some Philadelphia cream cheese for my bagels, which by the way, I got a Trader Joe's spread. It's an apple cider spread that they have for the fall. Mix that with this on a toasted bagel and you'll thank me later. Um, this is, so I'm not gonna open it, but it's just thyme and 
rosemary. Yes, thyme and rosemary. Um, I just put them in their bag. So I'm gonna actually show you the meats that I got, but basically I just um, roast these with vegetables or I'll put them in soups or stews or I'll put them on top of meats. So highly recommend, make sure you use your little spices. And I have, I know, I don't think you can see, it's out there um, out in my patio. I have basil, I'm growing my own basil. So I'm super excited about that. Um, next is the 1620 uh, cut peeled divine shrimp raw previously frozen. I just typically fry these in a pan with like garlic onion powder and some Cajun spice and just eat this kind of like as a snack. I've, I go through shrimp so much. Um, then these, so okay, these are the two um, meats that I got. So this is a chipotle lime marinated chicken breast. Um, there's two in here, and so I'm gonna use this, of course, made with the artichoke, the acorn squash, eggplant. I mean, I typically just have a lot of freaking veggies with this and like a side salad. So this is gonna be amazing. I, I mean, literally guys, I can smell this from the freaking package. And I got the same marinade, but with the beef sirloin. Again, I got um, that, and it's just a two pound thing for me and Alex, so that's gonna be great. Then, so I got, Two new dressings, so I got the Organic Creamy Ranch Tessames. Um, I've had this before and it's just pretty good. Um, it's dairy-free, gluten-free, cage-free, eggs, and sugar-free. Um, it's Whole30 approved, it's keto diet approved, so go ahead and get you sell yourself that. I've never had this, so this is Mother Raw Japanese Organic Japanese Style Dressing and Marinade Plant Powered. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, it's keep refrigerated, olive oil hardens in the fridge. Let's see. It's basically just like olive oil, apple cider vinegar, sesame seeds, coconut palm sugar, toasted sesame oil, lemon juice, a whole bunch of goodness. So this is also a dressing that I'm just gonna use for um, vegetables, for salads, even for the meats. Um, I have a couple meats in my, in my freezer that aren't marinated, so I might actually use these to marinate. Then I got my favorite chocolate, um, so this chocolate, so it's the chocolate XOXOX milk chocolate. I like the other chocolates, but milk chocolate is by far my favorite with this brand. And the reason why I like it is because they're thick pieces of chocolate, each one. And I literally just like pop, you know, one or two in my mouth and just like savor them. And they're so sweet, you guys. It is so amazing. I highly recommend you pick this up. Um, and like I said, they have others. They have like several others. Um, but this, I got another one, but I've already opened it, and so I'm not going to show you guys that, but this is what it looks like. Okay, this is my tuna, you guys. So this is, what would you call this? Saku, I think? Yes, it's a Saku Block Big Eye Tuna Wild Frozen. So for those of you who are interested in wanting to do, like, raw sushi, um, ask your, like the seafood counter at wherever, you know, you shop and they'll pinpoint you to the direction of where these are. So Central Market, they have these like in a little, con like a container that's kind of like, you know, like an ice cream container. When you want ice cream, you just kind of like open it. It's like that. Now the, the reason why they separate it is because the meat at the sea or the seafood at the seafood counter is not safe to eat raw. It's safe to eat cooked. This on the other, other end. Oh my gosh, on the other hand, it's frozen. And so what you do is you, you thaw it overnight in your refrigerator. And then as soon as it's, you know, kind of thawed and you like kind of not room temperature, but you know, enough to where you can eat it and it's all kind of you know, like mushy and soft, that's when you can eat it by itself. So I have some, um, some nori sea seaweed. So I'm gonna use that, this, I'm gonna make some rice. And of course I'm gonna use the coconut aminos. I cannot wait for this. Now, this is a hefty price. Um, it's very, it, it's really expensive compared to your like normal meats. So if you do this, I mean, just be conscious of how much you're going to spend with this and, and make sure you budget correctly. Um, I got the roasted turkey, Central Market in-house roasted uh, turkey breast. This actually isn't for me or Alex. This is actually for the dogs. So for those of you who are pet owners, um, we actually switched Hercules and Calypso's dog food from beef to lamb and rice. It was like beef and rice, now it's lamb and rice Purina one. And they're 
groomer who specializes in you know small dogs and she's very popular in in houston we take we we literally take them to houston to get groomed she noticed that um they were just having a little bit of like digestive issues and she said it was because of how oily um beef and rice is compared to lamb and rice or um there's one other i can't think of it like chicken and chicken and rice and and beef and rice they're the most oiliest so she told us to do lamb and rice which they love and she said for a snack instead of doing those like beef pepperoni sticks or whatever we do just turkey so they love this every time i open up our fridge and they hear this they go nuts so this is actually gonna last them for like a full week, maybe a week and a half. So this is their snack. This is salmon and it's actually hatch chili, fresh marinated salmon that I got from the seafood counter. It smells so good, you guys. So I'm just going to uh, freeze this and I'm gonna eat it probably sometime this week. It just smells so good. Um, next is some cheese. So I got the Pigov Dope Vecchio cheese, let bouche. I hope I did not butcher that. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I typically use this with, uh, what do you call those? Simply, simply baked or simply naked chips, pita chips. Um, I just do this in brie. I have brie in the fridge. So this is just the other cheese. And I know like some of y'all may sound like, oh, this is so bougie of you, but you know what? This is a snack and this is a fancy snack that I eat. I don't eat it often, but when I do crave it, that's where I go. And then this is just shredded Parmigiano Reggiano Dup La Traverstolis. Ooh, I know I, I know I butchered that. Basically shredded Parmesan. This is gonna go on eggplants or meat dishes, chicken dishes. Same with this, this is mozzarella. And this is actually what I'm going to put on the eggplants specifically. And I have in this bag, some mushrooms and I can't I think these are shiitake mushrooms oh I can't remember but let me just pull one out for you guys so that's what it looks like and I just got a few of these little bad boys um, basically these are good for stir frying soups stews basically I mean they're very versatile so that's what that's for um, and that's gonna probably be for um, whatever I do with the stewed tomatoes probably spaghetti or pizzas I don't know all right guys so that's it for my grocery haul i hope you enjoyed it like i said it's it was a special occasion because i went to central market and i loved it um but yeah let me know if you had any questions or if you have any recipes that you use uh, or do with the ingredients that i bought i would be happy to hear that because i'm all about recipes um and not eating out <laughs> which i'm trying not to um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Please don't forget to like it. Please subscribe if you're interested in more content. As always, I'm gonna have my Instagram um, linked below. That's pretty much where you'll find me if I'm not doing YouTube videos. And yeah, bye guys.